Well, lawmakers here in the Central Valley on both sides of the aisle long have been critical or skeptical of Governor Newsom's handling of water regulations and infrastructure. Those concerns from Valley officials came to a head this year as these intense storms we've been talking about drenched our region. 17's Maddie Gannon is here now with more. Maddie? Tammy, amid the intense storms in January this year, Assemblyman Vince Fong, Assemblywoman Jasmine Baines, and State Senator Melissa Hurtado all wrote letters to Newsom asking him to ease pumping restrictions in the Delta to save more water. Lawmakers said much of the rain drenching our state was flowing into the ocean through the Sacramento Delta because of regulations on pumping that environmentalists argue protect fish and species in the Delta. In January, our lawmakers' calls went unanswered. But earlier this month, Newsom signed an executive order asking the State Water Resources Control Board to reevaluate weight requirements in the Delta and the DWR increased allocations. Fong said it helped with these most recent storms, but doesn't do anything to address the problem in the long term. This executive order calling for the State Water Board to, uh, to reduce some of the outflow restrictions um, does uh, provide some more water to come to uh, the valley. He, uh, the Department of Water Resources um, did increase the allocation at 35 percent. But again, if you look at the science, you look at the data, you look at the hydrology, the amount of water and snowpack we have, uh, we should not be at 35 percent. We should be at 50 percent and or even higher. We could have created more reservoirs. We could have created more above ground storage and saved even more water. Uh, and that is something that we're going to have to take a really hard look at is what is our long term strategy in terms of our water policies in California. Meantime, we also spoke to Fong about AB 313, his bill seeking to extend protections that are currently only afforded to crime victims to include the victim's family as well. When someone applies for a Form 1707 protections, they are uh, notified uh, if, if uh, a convicted offender is being released. Uh, they're notified of where that individual is going to live or where they're going to go. Um, they have some input in terms of uh, what the parole uh, restrictions and what those criteria, uh, what those, what that criteria is. And so we want to ensure that those services and that information is not only provided to the to the victim of the crime, but to the victim's families. The goal is to help victims and families avoid trauma from an unexpected encounter with an offender. In studio, Maddie Gannon, 17 News.